What's up, everybody? Welcome to Clown World News. We got some nice news, potentially. Trump suggests using leftover $300 billion in COVID relief funds for stimulus checks. What? September 4th. Second stimulus? Say it ain't so. so Alright, so like, could the, could the stimulus be what we need? Could it be what we don't need? Will the economy collapse with it? Will it collapse without it? A lot of people have a lot of opinions. But if you want my opinion, I had a lot of fun with that first stimulus check. I invested in some things. I, I upgraded my house. It was nice. It was a good time. I wouldn't be upset with a second stimulus check. I don't know about you. It might be cool. Now, of course, there was a whole lot of like, it didn't go through. The second stimulus check didn't go through. And there's a lot of... Uh, he said, she said, everybody's blaming, they're either blaming the Democrats in Congress or the Democrats are blaming Trump. If you want my personal take on it, my personal opinion, I, I believe the Democrats don't want Trump to do anything good, especially before an election. They don't want anyone to think nicely of him. And I think they're afraid because I think they genuinely think that their base is so stupid that their base would literally be swayed to vote for Trump just because a second stimulus check came out. And they'd be, they, their base would be bribed by $1,200 or whatever it is to vote for Trump. That, and that's why they're afraid. Some of the things that the Democrats were putting in the bill, their proposed bill for the stimulus checks, was things like open borders, like no voter ID. Weird shit. Like, of course, the Republicans are never gonna approve that, and then they're gonna blame the Republicans for not approving it. Like, you didn't. They didn't approve the bill. So you got pork riders. Like, these pork riders shouldn't even be allowed. Like, that kind of shit is nonsense. President Trump on Friday urged Congress to approve stimulus checks to Americans by redirecting 300 billion dollars in unused coronavirus pandemic relief funds. What's crazy? Is that we had three hundred billion dollars in unused coronavirus pandemic relief funds? Where does this money come from? Where is it? Where does this come from? Does anybody know? We're using a fractional reserve interest loan system, a fiat currency. I think it's just make believe. I think that the the keepers of the world, the archons, I think they just decide. All right, you guys, you guys can have it now. You guys can have the slack. Whatever the fuck, I don't know. Should we worry about that? Maybe. Maybe a global reset's coming. But what we all care about, I think, is whether or not we're going to have $1,200 in our pocket. Am I going to get $1,200 before this election? Maybe maybe you need to buy a gun. Who knows? Maybe you need to buy a bulletproof vest. Maybe you're more defensive. <laughs> I don't want to be hyperbolistic because I think this is a serious issue. But Trump said at a White House press briefing that he considered redirecting the funds unilaterally but prefers for Congress to approve the idea. Now here's a nice little back and forth, it's kind of funny. It's back and forth Trump with himself. We have 300 billion ready to go. All Congress has to do is say, use it. I'd like to use it without their permission, but I guess I'm not allowed, Trump said. We're willing to spend it. I'd like to get approval from Congress. There's a theory that I don't have to do that, but I'd rather be up front and I'd like to get approval from Congress. <laughs> so here's Trump saying like, uh, I guess I'm not allowed to just do this without Congress's approval. I'd like to, but you know, but there's a there's a theory that I don't have to get their approval, but I'd rather get their approval. So like, dude, like that's like, uh, what do you call 4D chess or whatever? That's just like phrasing. He's basically saying like, hey, yo, people, like if you don't get this check, like I wanted to do it for you, but they said that I couldn't. But you know, some people say that I might be able to. Maybe you should vote for people who like me, because maybe we'd be able to. Trump called on Democrats in Congress to issue a one-sentence approval for him to redirect the funds. <laughs> I don't know what this means, but the way I interpret this is like, yeah, just just let me know in one sentence. I don't want to. I don't have time to read all your bullshit. Like, don't give me a fucking novel or a paragraph. Just tell me yes or no in one sentence. <laughs> Which is awesome. I think we need more of that in politics. A spokesman for the for House Speaker Nancy Pelosi did not immediately respond to a request for comment from the Post. Of course not. They don't want to talk about this. They're too busy talking about how Trump supposedly doesn't know who fought in World War One or Two. He doesn't know who the good guys were. So they got to let that story simmer first. They're really trying to capitalize on that before they would even consider talking shit about this one. 
Trump did not identify the exact funding source, but apparently was referring to unused business loan money approved in March in the two trillion dollar CARES Act. What the fuck? You see that? There's a toast person on the screen. It does a <laughs> New York Post. Get your shit together. Why is this? Your website is leaking. Trump floated the idea amid gridlock on new COVID-19 relief legislation that would send another round of $1,200 stimulus checks to most Americans. $1,200. I, I cannot find this meme. If you know what meme I'm talking about, I would be so happy if you could send it to me. It was a meme where somebody put Trump's face on the on the Biggie Smalls body and he's like, I, I'm going to let you hold like 1200 Just remember to fuck with me in November. I You heard? I can't find that meme anywhere, but if you know what meme I'm talking about, please send it to me. It may, it's just a great way of, of looking at it, cause it even I like memes that like kind of like poke fun at Trump. So like Trump's obviously trying to get the black vote in some regards, and that meme was just making fun of him as like trying to get the inner city vote by like bribing them. But regardless, uh, I think that twelve hundred dollars. Whenever I think about stimulus checks like this, I'm like, dude, I pay taxes. I've worked a job, I've had all that money taken out of my shit, and it went to programs and wars in the Middle East that I didn't agree with. I would like some of that money back, please, can I get a refund? Check, please. But I digress, you know, we can't just like give free money away to everyone. I've, I'm so on the fence, I'm not even on the fence, I'm like looking at the fence on UBI. I have my own opinions, but I don't think it, it just doesn't sound viable. But regardless, you can let me know what you think about UBI. But this, in this instance, because the shutdown, the lockdown, all this nonsense, the stimulus check makes sense. Both sides agree on more stimulus checks, but they disagree strongly on how much money state and local governments should receive. Democrats and Republicans also disagree on how large a federal unemployment insurance supplement should be, leaving workers with nothing, though Trump last month signed an executive order allowing a 400 weekly boost if states chip in $100. Republican leaders want to peg unemployment checks to 70% of pre-pandemic pay. But Democrats want to revive an expired $600 a week boost that in some cases resulted in workers earning more than they did before COVID-19 but left them jobless. I know for a fact, I know people that this has absolutely been true. They, they got unemployment and then they literally, they got more money than they've ever gotten working a job. That's a problem. That's what we can't have. But regardless, you know, for this one time, maybe, I don't know. Other Trump executive orders last month resurrected a federal ban on evictions during the pandemic, proposed a temporary payroll tax cut, and extended deferral of college loan payments. Federal ban on evictions. What This is interesting because like, you do a whole topic on this because I, I don't know if they are or they aren't, but I really hope that they're paying the landlords their fees because like if you're just telling the landlords you can't evict them and the landlords aren't getting money for their properties then you gotta you got a powder keg just forming new government job data released friday showed the u.s economy added 1.4 million jobs last month in the latest sign that the nation's recovery from the pandemic the jobless rate fell to 8.4 percent in august down from 10.2 percent in july we got a there used to be comments, and now there's just, oh my god, what is this ads? Just look at these, ugh. just click on, look, click on all this shit, dude. It's like, it's a good thing I play Call of Duty, so I know what to click on. I'm like trying to put headshots just by trying to find the actual article. So anyways, this is just like, maybe it's, maybe it's just like fluff to just get you to think about, hey, maybe, you know, we could potentially be getting more money. But this is September 4th, and today is September 6th. So this is two days ago. I didn't hear about this. Everybody was talking about how how Trump doesn't how Trump's a Nazi or some shit. How Trump's like, why don't we fight for Germany? I don't get it. <laughs> Which I don't think he said that. You can check my video out about that. But yeah, so I just wanted to bring this to people's attention that this could potentially maybe be happening. But damn, now I'm suddenly just like the media. I'm just like the normal media, just being like. You know, sources sometimes potentially maybe could be possibly suggesting that they could be looking beginning in the next sort of a days in the future that we might see that something like this could happen. I don't know. Alright, so yeah, I just want to let you know that. You can let me know if you think it's all a bunch of hoot nanny or if you think it's a malarkey. 
or is it a hoedown or is it all right i don't know <laughs> i'm sorry yeah we're gonna use this face we're gonna use this picture all right eight eight afb via getty images they should call it via Gotti images because you got him <laughs> Got him looking stupid. All right, thanks, Steven Nelson, for your whatever. I'm going to link this. You guys can look at it. If you support in independent investigative journalism, because I sure did a whole lot of investigating to figure this out. Oh, my God. But if you support that kind of content, you can check out my description. And you can check out my main channel. And support the Patreon. Um, do whatever. Share it. Like it. Hit the bell. Whatever. <laughs> But more importantly than that, I think you should call your mom, be a good person, stay vigilant, take everything you see with a grain of salt, exercise, stay healthy, tell somebody today something nice that you saw about them. If you, if you see beauty in something, in someone, you should speak it, because that'll make them feel really good. And if more people feel good, it'll be a good place to be. It'll be good for the vibe. So peace, take care. Bye.